Guys, after such a long time, I finally, I finally found my perfect rom-com. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Tahura and today we're going to talk about better than the movies. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. After struggling with adult romance and shit loads of spice, I finally found the one for me. Of course, when I say that, I don't mean to look down at anyone who reads adult romance. I had that phase too, like 10 years ago. Wait, it's been 10 years? It stuck for a year because teenage Tahura was finding all the answers she wanted that her mother refused to give her. Probably exciting in the start uh, until you realize that's all there there is to it. I only like such scenes when uh, the characters have become like my OTP after following a great storyline of course, for example, Amber and the Ashes. Anyway, I outgrew that phase and all I want right now is a nice slow burn cutie patoti of a rom-com and I found my cutie patoti of a rom-com. Better than the movies by Lynn Painter is a rom-com where a girl and a boy falls in love. That's it. That's all I'm gonna give you all. Because I went into the book forgetting what the description said about the book, as usual. And I do not regret one bit. In fact, I suggest that you do not read it. Because the blurb kind of gives away the plot. I mean, it's a typical rom-com, but still, like, you know, the element of surprise. Even though it's like <laughs> a typical rom-com, as I'm saying, but place just, just just do not read the description just get into this book blindfolded and i promise you you won't regret it but of course since you guys came over here you all might be expecting me to say something about the book and i'm going to i'm going to so first we're going to start with the tropes so the first trope it covers is enemies to lovers take my money the second trope it covers is childhood friends Actually more like frenemies, like not friends, they're enemies, kind of, at least that's what she thinks. If you watch a lot of gay dramas like I do, you'll know childhood connection just adds on to that, you know, that extra essence. Because even though you know they're gonna end up together, you still are like, oh my god, they were meant to be, what? And it just makes it even more cuter. The third trope it has is the boy next door. Disgusting shit. Ew. Anyway, stop thinking. Stop thinking. Let's get back to the book. So our protagonist, Liz, she has a habit of making a playlist or associating songs to certain situations in her life or people in her life, which I found adorable and is weird because I do that too. I associate songs with people in my life. And I never found that habit of mine adorable in any way. But when you read about it, like, you know, from a different perspective, it's kind of cute when other people do it. So yeah, I think I'm cute. Am I better than everyone else? Am I special? It's time for TMI that nobody asks. One of the songs that I associate with uh, my best friend and me is True Love by Pink. You know, that goes like, Sometimes I wanna hug you, I wanna wrap my hands around your neck. I'm sorry, I got distracted. The author was so effortlessly funny and smooth in the sense no sentence in the book felt like it was out of place or exaggerating or forced in any form. It was just perfect. With this one, Lynn Painter has become one of my auto buy authors for sure. Uh, I think she has another book already out. Maybe it's upcoming. I'm not sure. I'm going to check out. But whatever it is, I will be reading it. For sure. That's one thing that I really like about this book. It's how uh, the chapters, they start with a line from a rom-com and it kind of more or less describes what's going to happen in that chapter. And I found that so smart and so cute. It just makes you excited about what's about to come. Chapter 5, it starts with just because she likes the same bizarro crap you do doesn't mean she's your soulmate. 500 days of summer. And I love how this chapter was all about like, you know, 
questioning whether the person you like just has the same interest as you if you find them like hilarious in general or it, it is it really a love interest it's short dude i love how smartly the chapters were put together like with those quotes i did find one of the characters who was Liz's best friend slightly like you know two-dimensional but maybe it's because the other characters kind of outshone her maybe that is why i feel that way but overall uh, i'm 100 percent recommending this if you're looking for a perfect fluffy cute rom-com with a slow burn romance with no adult scenes or related graphics then ladies and gentlemen better than the movies by lynn painter is for you a huge thank you to simon and schuster india for sending this book across thank you oh shit if you're new to this channel do not forget to like and subscribe i'll see you next time bye I need to check my microphone. No. One last time, I need to check.